This Bay Cod recipe is so fast, it's so simple, you really can do this whole thing in less than 20 minutes. Hey guys, I'm Justin from Cooking with Coit. I specialize in clean comfort cooking. And if you love this video, make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons. Let's get started. So we've got our cod here. You have two choices when it comes to the fish. You can get a fresh or frozen. It really doesn't matter which one you do. So we're gonna add the cod to our baking dish. Just wanna give them a little bit of space. They shouldn't be too, too close. And now we're just gonna set this aside. Next thing we're gonna do is mince one clove of garlic. You could use more garlic if you like a more garlicky dish, but for this recipe, I'm just gonna use one clove. Next, we're gonna cut our lemon just in half. I also like to use this time to uh, dig out any seeds that I can see, just so that when we squeeze a lemon over the fish, we're not getting a lot of seeds in the baking dish. Next, we're gonna take our melted butter and pour it all over our cod fillets. I'm doing my best to kind of equally distribute it. I'm also gonna show you this other thing that I do. Once the butter is poured over the cod fillets, I like to lift up the fillets and just make sure some of that butter gets under the fillet. It's gonna do two things. It's gonna give the fillets even more flavor, but it's also gonna keep the fillets from sticking to the baking sheet. So just kind of squish them around a little bit. Next, we're gonna add our garlic. And again, I'm just kind of sprinkling the garlic over the top of the fillets, doing it as evenly as I can. Now I'm gonna add my lemon juice. You just really need about two tablespoons worth. So just give it a little squeeze, again, all over each of the fillets. Oh, there's a seed. I missed it. Let's get rid of this guy. Okay, a little more lemon juice. Okay, we are gonna do paprika first. I'm just gonna give these fillets a little sprinkle of paprika. The recipe calls for just about a half a teaspoon, so just a little bit. You don't have to overdo it with this paprika. There you go. Nice and even. Okay, now we're gonna do our salt and pepper. Again, you don't have to add too much. This is completely to taste. Just a small pinch for each filet. Okay, we're gonna finish these with a little bit of pepper. Another small pinch. Okay. That is it. Can you believe that the prep is over? It's so fast and so simple. Now we're gonna pop these into the oven. I've already preheated the oven to 400 degrees and we're gonna let these cook just about 10 minutes. I give them a little bit of poke at 10 minutes to see if they're flaky. It might be 12 minutes in your oven. Just give them a look. It has been 10 minutes. The cod is ready to be taken out of the oven. Let's see how we did. All right. It looks so fantastic. Guys, check this out. Oh my gosh. Okay, you might be wondering, how do you tell if this cod is fully cooked? Let me show you. What I do is I take a little fork and I just give it a little bit of a poke. And what I'm looking for is just to see that the skin is gonna flake up a little bit, that it's just gonna really kind of softly separate. And that's how I know it is cooked perfectly. All right, this cod is looking so delicious, but before I give it a taste, if you love this recipe and you wanna see more just like it, check out my Healthy Recipes playlist. All right, let's give this a taste. Mm. Wow, this cod is so light and delicious and you really taste the butter and the garlic coming through. This is fantastic. I hope you guys give it a try. I'll see you in the next video.